In this video, I will be unboxing my first advent calendar, so stay tuned to see what advent calendar and what's inside. Right, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy, and today I'll be unboxing my first um, advent calendar. Excuse my hair, I had a shower this morning and it's not dried at all. It looks horrific, I'm sorry. <laughs> But no, basically I have done my foundation because I'm hoping that there's going to be some stuff to do with face. If there is, I'll probably pop it on my face. But yeah, this is the only one I can afford really, to be honest. But this is my first advent calendar. It's the 12 Days of Beauty from Lloyd's Pharmacy. And look how cute it is. Look, it's got a panda. And it's in, it says on here, here, inspired by our love of Korea. So I have no idea what type of products are going to be in here. It was £12. So a pound for each bot for each door, so I think I'm gonna be paying. This is my first um Adrian box. There was uh, something attached to it there which has basically what's in it, so I tried to ignore that as much as possible, but I'm gonna get straight into it. Um I was hoping to do better advent boxes to be honest with you, but with budgets being tight, next year I'm gonna go all out with advent with advent calendars, I'm gonna buy the best ones. Fingers crossed. Um, but I have got two other advent calendars which are from Savers, one that's beauty and one that's got um, just um, brushes in them and basically they've only got 12 each, so 12 plus 12 is 24 I'm going to be unboxing them as I'm doing vlog, as I'm vlogging throughout December I will be opening them day by day and having them in a little basket and at the end of the, at the, end of the 12 or 24 days Brandon's sister Hannah, who's absolutely amazing at makeup compared to me, I am embarrassingly bad <laughs> She's going to be doing my makeup just using the, the makeup from the advent calendar and from the other advent calendar, the brushes. So just the makeup and the brushes from the advent calendars are going to be used on my face. So that would be interesting to stay tuned with. But right, back to this one. So first off, I am going to start with number one, which is this box just here. And it's got a little thing here, it's called Treat Yourself. My first impressions of this um, advent calendar is that I think it's more aimed at kids than adults to be honest with you. And it's not that easy to open, I'll just cut myself. Right, I'm going to be battling this box aren't I? Oh. There we go, got there eventually. And on, oh, I've just torn it as well. I was hoping to make this box look really, really neat. Alright, after tearing, the box inside is a eyeshadow. And if I can get it out, that would be even better. It's actually stuck in. Now, I've been watching a lot of YouTubers that are doing advent calendars, that's probably where I got the idea from, to be honest. And I know how they feel about not getting it out of the box. It's the first day. There we go. Got it out. I almost dropped it as well. Doing great for my first advent calendar. But yeah, this is the first one. It's a grey and white eyeshadow. So I'm probably going to leave it till last and do my makeup at the end of this video. So I'm just going to unbox it first. Then I'll pop it on my face. So quite like the colours. Look quite cool. So I'll pop that down there. Day number. What was that? Oh, it was the instructions. <laughs> Anyway, oh, I've ruined it, look. Day number two is this little one just here. So, yeah, it's only £12, quite a cheap one from Lloyd's. But I thought I'll get in on it. It looks really, it looks really fun to do. And that is what you get. What is that? Ooh, again, I'm fighting with it. I think that is a chalk, but I don't think it's makeup. I think it's for your hair. But uh, I'll be interested to put my hair on it. Thank you, Lloyd's. Number three. This one just here. But yeah, I think it's definitely aimed at kids. 
Oh, look, that's cute. Got two items in here. Don't know if it's fallen, but. You got some hair top. Ooh. Can't even see myself. You got some hair ties. Keep my hair ties. They're very, very small. Got a pink one. And a blue one. Oh, so it'd be like this. So I've already my hair as well once it's dry. <laughs> but now there's some blue and pink hair ties. Number four. Yeah, this big one. Just here. There we go. So the first one was really hard to open, but now I'm getting the swing of it. It's a not doing very well on. Oh, there we go. A lip gloss in the shade. I'm not sure what shade, but it doesn't say. It's a red lip gloss. Number five is this one just here. Which one I broke this the first off. Oh, and <laughs> I've never worn these in my life. They are some eyelashes. I am going out later, so they're going to be interesting to walk out with. And it also comes with a little glue, which I'm not going to fight for right now. But as you can see, it comes with a little glue. Number five. So far, I'm going to do number six and I'll do a review. So number six is this one here. I must have got halfway through the calendar. Ooh, what's that? So that's what we get. Ooh. Ooh, I can't get it out. We need to make these easier to get out, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Like a little ball. Here we go. It's a lip balm. I love these lip balms. I've got one from Savers, which is a blue one, which I'm obsessed with, so I might have to use that, definitely. Oh, it looks really shiny. I think that's the only thing so far that I'm actually excited about about this advent calendar. Or maybe uh, and maybe the eyeshadow. So basically, I'm on six doors in, and I've got some eyelashes, chalk, and some bits. I'm Personally, I wouldn't buy it for myself, it now knowing what's inside, half, well, halfway through, now knowing what's inside. But yeah, definitely fun for kids. If you need an advent calendar for kids, only £12 in Lloyd's Pharmacy. Number, what am I number on? Number seven is this one here. Oh, it's so cute. It has got the tiniest little nail file. Look at that. It's shiny. That is so tiny. Right, definitely for kids. Obviously, I don't have any nails, so it would be pretty pointless for me. But that is so adorable. I have to give that to somebody that We'll probably use it. That's adorable. Day number eight is this little cute little thing here. So far, I definitely say I've got my money's worth. <laughs> oh, again, this one's not coming out. <laughs> oh, why? Oh, wow. Okay. I have got. Instead of eyeliner, you've got stickers. So they basically stick them on your eyes and that way. So I might have so I'll be having to put that on my face. Definitely it's definitely an experimental um box if you're like twelve. Number nine. This would be a fun box to do. Why did I pick this as my first box? It's probably not gonna be the best video in the world. I'm hoping that my ones from next year and the ones, my later ones, will be a lot better than this. Right, number, box number 12, 9. Ah, oh, some little scrunchies. I love these. I have never ha owned any myself, but that'd be cool. They'll probably go well with these, to be honest. To be fair, I have like what they are here. Also, I'm not going to show you what they are because I haven't done some of them. By the looks of it, it's a hair scrunchie. It's like a hair spiral thing. Anyway, 
Yeah, so it's a bit of a giveaway, to be fair, because it has it right here on there like that. But, but never, they're not brands they were, and obviously by the looks of it, there isn't a brand, so. Number 10. Oh, that is cute. A little nail polish. Again, I don't have any nails. Okay. Look at that. That is so cute. It's a purple, if you can't see it, it is a very, very dark purple. So I might have put them on these bits, but a very dark purple. They look, they're so adorable. So adorable, look, it's the size of my eye. That is so cute. Number 11. this bit wrong because I opened I read that wrong this is 11 that's 11 that's 7 so I'll have to do it backwards so number 7 is another nail polish which is a silvery one which is such an adorable one as well so cute right and last but not least number 12 the last day of the box and you get <laughs> some more stickers Oh, I'm going to get it out now. I've glued it to the hoga. Some stickers. They look cute though. So basically this is this box destroyed and opened. Hope you've enjoyed the unboxing of it. It's probably going to be a very, very naff video. I'm now going to put it all on my face. Um, so yeah, I've got some stickers. Nail file, eyeshadow. So I can do some sort of a face with it. So we'll have to see. Thank you, Lloyds. This isn't sponsored at all. I just thought I'd say thanks. But uh, yeah, definitely for kids to experiment with, definitely. It's definitely like my lesson not to get some cheap advent calendars, isn't it? So right, I'm now going to pass you over to be putting it on. Yeah, it's going to be an experience. Put a bit of eyeshadow on. Yeah, I'm going to start with my eyeshadow. It is very, very grey. Oh, dad that out there. I don't have any makeup brushes spare, to be honest. It's not bad. To be bear in mind the palette, it's not actually that bad. I have had worse. It's not that powdery, to be fair. You don't, it's not that messy. But it doesn't do too bad of a job. Not too bad. I'm probably, as you can see, I videoed this once already, washed it off and redid it. I am not wearing that. That would not work at all. At all. So I'm going to pass on these. I'm sorry. I'm just going to pass on them. Next, we're just going to have to do is my lips, which are this. This uh, thing. Oh, first. First, 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 first. I'm going to do, use this, my favourite. Like a glistening colour lip balm. Oh, these are so soft. Oh, it leaves a little glisten. Ooh, quite like that. Definitely leaves your lips feeling like silky and soft. So that, this and the eyeshadow is probably the best thing out of the whole advent calendar. Oh, I don't want to even use the lip gloss now. But no, basically I'm going to use this lip gloss. This is very red. Off I go. Definitely accompanied with the um, lip balm. It is very sticky. Oh, mm, great start.
It's more red on the top. That looks horrific. Ugh. Lip gloss is not my favourite. At all. I prefer lipsticks to lip gloss. But. First video. Not too bad. Next, I am. Um, that is actually it for makeup, apart from eyelashes. I've never worn fake eyelashes, so this is going to be interesting. So, I'm probably going to have to cut this video, so I'm going to give it a try on camera. And there's like no glue in it. There's literally no glue in this. There's no glue in the glue part. You thought it was really gluing together and stuck. Can't get any glue out. So I guess I'm not putting eyelashes on. I have, I'm going to have to go out and get some glue at some point, but for the minute I'm going to pop them on my eyes because they still is sticky. I don't have no glue, that's not bad. No, it looks horrible. Look too bad, it would look a lot better with glue to be honest, but I don't have any glue, so I still have to do it. I can see my lashes, so we <laughs> it definitely needs glue. I don't have any glue because I don't wear my lashes. That's gonna have to do hair chalk. That's the colour you get. Give it a go. To be fair, my hair is just so dark you can't see it anyway. Oh, you can a bit. Let's sit down here. Now I'm going to have to break the seal on this one. I'll just do it down the middle. Oh my god, you can see it. I'm gonna have to wash my hair again. This is probably the easiest to put on your hair, to be honest. Oops. You have to break it to make it work, to be honest. So that's really the best I'm going to do with that. It looks really pink. It's not my fave. Go back in the box. This. These are hair spirals, so I 
I know it's not like that, but just for the purpose of this video. You know, some more hair ties. And the nails. I'm not going to do all my nails, I'm just going to do the one. Oh wow, that's purple. I look a mess, there you go, there's that one. I don't do nails. Nails are not my thing. I bite them more than anything. There you go, you got my two nails on. All dry. And you got the nail file, which does nothing. Alright. This is some nail stickers. But I'm feeling like I'm going to jazz my face off a bit. And pop that on my face. So I'm going to pick a big star. Hearts. Let's get some stars going. So as you can see, you got the. All of my lashes look, it's because they're not stuck on. They're no. Nah. So basically this is my finished look. It looks horrendous. I haven't got any glue on my eyelashes so they're not stuck at all. I think the only good thing about it is the lip gloss, the lip balm. That looks really nice. Though it's dry and it's dried a nice silvery, a little silvery, it's not silvery. Um, glittery red, a little bit Christmassy. The chalk on my hair, which looks really bad. <laughs> I don't like chalk in my hair. I never did it as a child. I'm not definitely not starting now. Um, I will probably never use any of these items apart from that. I might not even use anymore. But I definitely use these. This one. Definitely use the lip gloss and the lip balm. Eyelashes. I might try and get some glue and stick them on properly with some help from Brandon's sister. And the eyeshadow I'll definitely use again. Nail polish. I'll stick it with my collection, but I'm not going to say I'm probably going to use it. But yeah, that's the end of this video. If you have enjoyed this video for some strange reason, give it a big thumbs up. I hope I do better unboxings next year than this one, to be honest with you. Or if I find a better calendar, I'll do that for you as well. Budgets are tight, and obviously Christmas is coming up, so I don't have a lot of money to spend on YouTube currently. So yeah, it's going to have to do it for this year. I thought I'd get involved and watch a lot of videos, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. As much as I have actually been, although it doesn't seem it, I actually really enjoyed unboxing this. It was quite fun, you don't really know what's inside, apart from this little slip, but I didn't really look at it anyway. So, yeah. Hope you have enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down, but I hope, hopefully you don't. Tell me in the comments what you don't like about this video, just so I know. But yeah, no, give it a big thumbs up, share this video out. To everybody, don't forget to subscribe for more better videos. I've got my light box working now, so I'll be using that in other videos. So yeah, my lashes are falling off, so I'm going to take that as a go. We'll see you soon. Enjoy and goodbye.